Alistair blabs that I knew Ivy broke up my parents' marriage and I didn't stop her, Fox will definitely break up with me. Woo! Good Hi. morning, beautiful. Hi. Uh, you sleep well? Yes. Oh, I loved being in your arms. It's yeah? so safe. Good. Because having you close to me made me feel like the luckiest man in the world. Mm, I feel lucky too. I just hope my luck doesn't run out. My beautiful princess. You asked me if Alistair threatened me last night and I lied and said no. The truth is your grandfather has something that could come between us. And if I don't destroy the information Alistair has, he actually lives to use it. And you and I won't have a happily ever after. <sighs> I think I'm gonna need two cups of coffee to wake up today. I need to get back to Pilar before she wakes up and finds me missing. Oh, I hope she didn't hear me. Do you think she heard no, me cry? No, I, I doubt it. Pilar would have come in here to see what was happening if she had. Oh, I'm glad she didn't. Me too. For Pilar's sake. You know, we would have upset her to see you thrashing around like that. My husband is back with his mistress. First, my father tells me that I murdered Aunt Rachel. And I find out she's alive. I wonder what other surprises my father has in store for me. I can think of one if you come back to bed with me. Chris, good morning. Good morning. Sleep well? Not really. I kept thinking about last night and how my father tried to shatter me by telling me that I murdered my Aunt Rachel. This man's a monster. I don't think there's anybody in this mansion that your father hasn't threatened or hurt in some way. Has my father threatened you? Has he tried to blackmail you in some way? No, there's nothing like cold, fresh air. Ooh, good morning, babe. Spike, hey, what are you still doing here? I'm just waiting to take you home with me. It's way too dangerous to be here. Both one old man Crane's party guests trying to kill him last night. I don't believe you. No, baby, it's true. And the roads were impassable, so I just spent the night in the garage. But we'll leave just as soon as it's safe. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. What the hell was that for? Hmm, let me think. Drugging me, dragging me here, tying me to a bed half naked, and threatening to kill me. Jess, okay, I understand. I Get away you. from me, Spike. I never want to see you again. Feelings mutual, believe me. But until a man crank kicks the bucket, I'm stuck sticking it to you and your family. Good morning, my little angel. You just keep on sleeping, okay? Your mommy has to go rattle your evil stepmother's cage. Well, you can, Gwen, because Ethan won't be sharing your bed much longer. Alistair has the proof that you and Rebecca tipped Ethan's true paternity to the tabloids. Once I find it, Ethan will leave you to be a family with me, Jane, and little Ethan. And you, Gwen, will finally get what you deserve. Nothing.
Nancy. I can't. Good morning, beautiful. <laughs> Isn't this where we left off last night? <laughs> oh, I, I think so. Mm -hmm. Only there was a way to jog my memory. M maybe this will help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that definitely did something. <laughs> Let's try it again. <laughs> Has my father tried to blackmail you about your past dealings with the Mafia? I'm going to reveal everything I know about you. That way I can destroy both you and Sheridan. And you know I will. Because I can. No, Sheridan. Alistair didn't try and threaten me with my formal links to the mob. Thank goodness. I couldn't bear it if my father tortured you the way he tortured Louise. You and James have come to mean so much to me. I love you both so much. I, I would be lost if anything happened to either one of you. Relax. I won't let your father do anything to hurt us. You promise? My love for you. All right, can you tell us? <laughs> Catherine, I hate leaving you alone. So Martin, soon. Martin, it's okay. You know, you always know what I need. And every time you come to me, it's a gift. So you go to Pilar. Thank you. <gasps> Pilar! Go to him, Martin. Hurry. Pilar, wait! Laura, wait. Don't, please. Let me explain. Don't explain. Explain? I know what I saw and heard. How could you? How could you leave our bed to go make love to your ex-mistress? What the hell are you talking about? I didn't have sex with Catherine. Por favor, Martin. I know what I heard. How you gave Catherine what she needs. How you hated to leave her so soon afterwards. And then Catherine urging you to come back to our bed because, God forbid, Pilar should wake up and find you missing. You got this all wrong. Now, I woke up before you, and I went downstairs to make us some coffee, and I heard Catherine crying out. And I thought that she might be in danger because Alistair's would-be killer is still here in the mansion. So I went to check on her, and it turns out that Catherine was having a nightmare. I woke her up, I sat down until she was calm, and that's when you walked in. Catherine blurted out the truth last night in the attic without even realizing truth. it. What, what truth? What truth, Martin? Yeah. That Alistair threatened to tell Sheridan, that she killed Rachel if Catherine didn't go back to Alistair and you didn't come back to me. I told you that when Alistair first made his demands. I also told you that I wanted to be with you no matter what, to renew our vows and to be a family again in every way. Well, that was then, and this is now, and there's nobody blackmailing you, so what's it going to be? Are you coming back to me? Or are you going back to Catherine? There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. You're really shaken up by that attempt on Alistair's life, aren't you? What gets me is that he didn't die. No. Well, I know he's a thorn in our side, Gwen, but he can't hurt us. Honey, I don't know about that. Why would you say that? I don't understand. I mean, what, what, did he threaten you tonight or something? Tell Ethan the truth, Gwen. You might as well get it over with. Just hear me. No! Listen, honey, I love you. You gotta know I would never do anything to hurt you. <laughs> yeah, right. 
My wrists are still sore from when you tied me to that bed. Okay, about last night, Alistair's the one. He told me that- Get the hell away from my daughter! No, 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 I, I'm just talking to her, that's all. I can't believe your nerve, showing your face again after what you did to my daughter last night. I just explained her. Alistair told me to do something. I killed you a no. long time ago. I had nothing to do with it! Are you all right? You seem, you seem a little tense. Oh, it's just that with everything that happened last night, I just wonder what the fallout will be. Well, I mean, who really cares? It doesn't involve us. <laughs> what if it did? Well, how can it? We don't have any secrets that we're keeping from each other. One of us is. In fact, if you take a look in the pool, I'm not hiding a thing. Oh? Oh. Oh! <laughs> Care to join Ooh. me? I can't think of a better way to start my day. All right. <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> wow, now that Alistair can't use Sheridan to keep you and Catherine apart, you're just dying to go with her. All this talk that you had about being a good father to your children and a good husband to me was only that, right, Mark? Just talk. Come on. You know what? Do me a favor. Go back to Catherine. Go back to your mistress. Nothing's changed. I'm still committed to you and our family. And if you still want me, I'll stay with you. You will? If you still want me. Sister, may I come in? Oh, yes, you may. Oh, oh uh, did you sleep well? Do you like your room? Can I get you something to eat? I'm fine. I'm fine. I just wanted to spend the morning with you, like we used to do when we were younger, oh. before Alistair Crane meant anything to either oh. one of us. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you still are the most wonderful sister. Oh, Rachel, I've been so alone. To have you back here after all these years, it's... it's glorious. It's like a dream come true. Oh, for me too. Oh, for years, I thought that you were dead as well. Oh, I read about your memorial service, the galaxy of world figures who attended. Oh, but my heart ached for you, Catherine. I was only consoled by the thought that Alistair could never hurt you again. No, he couldn't, but he could indirectly. I didn't know it at the time, but when I left with Martin, Alistair tortured Julian and Sheridan instead. Oh, Catherine, I blame myself for you marrying Alistair in the first place. I meant to tell you that I'd broken my engagement from him, but before I could, he had me imprisoned at the Crane cabin. And then, of course, the next day, I died in that boating accident. Don't blame yourself. I mean, Alistair fooled me, too. I was married to him before I even realized what a monster he was. Rachel, it took years, years, and Martin's help for me to find the strength to leave him. To tell you the truth, I don't know what I would have done without Martin. He literally saved my life. You love him, don't you? Well, I didn't when we first left Harmony. But over the years, neither one of us could deny how we'd come to feel about each other. Martin is... Martin was my soulmate. Our love was something that I had never experienced in my whole life. It hasn't changed, has it? You still love him. No, no, Oh, no. come on, don't lie to your big sister. I can see it in your eyes. You still love Martin Fitzgerald, and he loves you. It doesn't matter. He's back with Pilar. In the attic last night, I sensed that she had doubts about his commitments toward her. I suppose that's right. <sighs> Martin and I have had a very, very hard time letting go. And it hasn't helped matters that Pilar keeps finding us together. Like earlier today, I had a bad nightmare last night. Martin was here comforting me. Well, that didn't make Pilar very happy. Martin is with her now, trying to explain to her what she walked into. I, I just pray, I just pray that she believes him. Why? Why? Because I want Martin and Pilar to be happy together. Rachel. 
I took him away from his family. Pilar and their children had to live hand to mouth for decades. And there was even more misery that I caused them by being with, with Martin. Tell me this. Why is Pilar's happiness more important than yours? Excuse me? Catherine, you have suffered so much. If you have a chance for love, you should take it. If you can get Martin back, do it. Be with the man that you love. You deserve happiness for all the hell that Alistair put you through. Gwen, did Alistair threaten you last night? Big time. That's why I caught Gwen ransacking Alistair's bedroom. No, and the Alistair did not threaten me. Hey, we have known each other practically our entire lives, right? Yeah. We could never even keep each other's surprise parties a secret, so how could we possibly ever keep something so important from each other? I know, you're right, you're right. I just, you seemed upset. Well, I am upset. I mean, honey, someone here in the mansion tried to murder Alistair, and it very well could have been Teresa again. She was certainly out of control when I caught her ransacking Alistair's room last night. You dishonest bitch. It wasn't me, it was you. You know, given how volatile she is, what if she tries to kill me next? <sighs> Gwenny, Gwenny, Gwenny. When I'm finished with you, you're gonna wish that I had killed you. Because once I find the proof that you and your mother were the ones who sold Ethan out to the tabloids as a Bennett, your life's gonna be over. Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. You think it's wrong of me to feel so, so happy when, when my grandfather almost got murdered last night? <laughs> um, let's see. Your grandfather had my dad fired as police chief. He had uh, Noah arrested on false drug charges. He paid Spike to corrupt my little sister, and he had you fired at Crane Industries. So, mm. no, you should not feel bad about being happy. Okay, okay. then I won't. Okay. But it still creeps me out that there's an attempted murder in the Crane Mansion, right? Yeah, well, you know what's creepy about it is that it could be anyone. Well, not anyone. It couldn't be you or me, right? I mean, I'm a lover and a fighter, but I'm not a killer, right? And you, uh, you don't have any secrets so bad that you try to kill my grandfather just to keep him under wraps, right? So what do you say? Let's go take a shower, and uh, then we'll see what's for breakfast. Mm, OK, if we get to breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> And what do you say we go downstairs and get some breakfast? Mm -hmm. I'm famished. <laughs> but um, I need to check on Grandfather first. I'm hoping the roads are safe enough to get him to the hospital. Maybe he'll recover enough to say who tried to kill him. Yeah, that's... It's bound to come out sooner or later, isn't it? That is, as long as the person who tried to kill him doesn't try again. How could anyone be so cold-blooded? Fancy, come on. Alistair's the one with the ice in his veins. If he threatened to reveal something about someone that would cost them, you know, what they care about most, I could see them trying to stop that from happening. All the more reason to get Grandfather to the hospital, where he'll be safe until he comes to and names his attacker. Alistair promised to expose all the secrets he has on people, including me. Jessica, uh -huh. the piece of scum. I hope he rots in hell. It's not your job to put him there, please. Uh -huh. <gasps> Jessica, Jessica, call the police, everyone. Shut up, please. Call. Daddy, just stop it. Don't kill Spike. You want to walk? Daddy, 
Jessica, call the cops. die Jessica. outside. I love you. Listen. You better never get near my daughter again, do you hear me? Because the next time, I swear to God, Jessica. I will kill you. Don't do it, you think? Well, it is a very good thing that my mother is sleeping late. Sheridan, you know if she ever found out you gave the, the staff the morning off, we would never hear the end of it, right? Well, you can bring a tray up to her if you like. Oh, sure. Yeah, you can also snoop around in Alistair's bedroom some more, too. I don't what? Know. Just ignore her. She's trying to cause trouble. Oh, we checked, but the roads are still covered with ice. Not a sand truck in sight. Looks like we're going to be stuck here for a while. Well, hey, at least we have power. We certainly have plenty of food. Yeah, yeah the phones are out. There's no cell service, and the landlines are down. So you weren't able to call the babysitter to check on James? No, but he'll be fine. The b and has got a generator, and there's plenty of food on hand. I thought I heard voices in here. <laughs> Rachel, oh, please come join us. You're the lady I met when Ethan was in his coma. Yes, Rachel Barrett. It's nice to see you again. Oh, nice to see you, too. Wow, you're a Sheridan's Aunt Rachel. We thought that you were dead. Well, it's a long story, but the short of it is, Alistair lied. Well, of course he did. So, where have you been all these years? Well, Alistair kept me prisoner and until I finally escaped by falling off a cliff. Alistair thought I was actually dead. So I've been living under an assumed name and trying to keep a low profile. Christopher Booth. Very nice to meet you, Mrs. Barrett. Well, Sheridan told me last night that you were back. Well, so nice to meet you too, Chris. I'm Gwen. I'm Ethan's wife. It's so nice to meet you. Mm. How did you get here in the ice storm? Well, I was already here. And I thought it was time to finally right some wrongs. So I had been living in the attic for a while. <laughs> Alistair <laughs> actually thought I was a ghost until last night. He's been trying to convince himself that he's not losing his mind. <laughs> wow. So you've been here for a while without actually being seen? Well, unless I wanted to be. So you've seen and, and, and heard a lot, then? Yeah, I suppose I have. I do know the hell that Alice just put you through. I heard your screams, your tears after he had his way with you. And what else have, have you heard? Such as? I don't know. You know, like, um, where Alistair, you know, keeps cert certain things hidden, you know? Like, secret information, things like that. I really can't say. When Alistair wants something hidden, it usually stays hidden. He wasn't able to keep you hidden. Well, I was lucky. When I fell off that cliff, my captors thought that I was dead and my body just washed out to sea. So Alistair thought I was dead, so nobody searched for me. You know, in fact, I think I owe Otto my life. Otto? A man who works for Alistair. You know, I haven't thought about him lately until... What is it? Well, recently I heard a conversation between Alistair and Otto about keeping somebody's paternity a secret. Oh? Please, Rachel, please tell us exactly what you heard Alistair say. Every single one of his files have its own password? This is gonna be impossible. Noah, did you trash this room? Uh, no, Dad, it, it was like this when I got here. Why are you on Alistair's computer? He has something on you too? Yeah, and he threatened to show it to Fancy. If she sees it, Dad, I'm gonna lose her forever. You want to talk about it? <laughs> yeah. But I can't. I mean, it's... It's bad. It's... It's really bad. All right, well... I'm not going to twist your arm, but... If you ever want to talk about it... <sighs> Thanks. Um, but right now, job number one is 
is finding that file and getting rid of it before Fancy ever has a chance to read it. I could really love her, don't you, son? Yeah. I mean, she's the one, you know? And I'm not gonna let anyone, especially not Alistair, take her away from me. Well, I hope you're able to hold on to her. I'd hate to see you lose the woman you love and want to spend the rest of your life with. Trust me, I've been there and I've done that. Are you talking about Mom or Ivy? Both. You know, I always loved Grace. But she chose to be with David. And uh, I have to move on. And I have. With Ivy. You know, it looks like we're going to get a second chance. So, you don't want to get Mom back? <laughs> I've done everything that I can think of to do. I mean, I even ran a search on David just to see if he was who he says he was. And you know, it all panned out. He's legit. So you're giving up on getting mom back? Son, I have to respect her wishes. The bottom line is I've lost your mom, and there's not a damn thing I can do to change that. What have I done keeping quiet about you hiring David? My dad is, is clearly still hurting. <sighs> I have to tell him the truth, Ivy. I have to tell him that you paid David to break up his marriage to my mom, and that I let you get away with it. So, Rachel, what exactly did you hear Alistair tell this auto person about someone's paternity? Alistair was on the phone talking to Otto about his latest guest, Otto guarding them and keeping them from being found the same way he did with me. I know who father's hiding. Beth and Marty. It's, it's got to be Beth and Marty. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, Alistair's not paying me enough for this. Ugh. I brought you this. Oh, baby. Baby, you don't hate me after all. I just want to make sure you weren't going to die. If your old man had his Daddy's brain. right. You know, you used me, Spike. I loved you, and you took advantage of that. No, baby, look, you got it all. You on. save it. I never want to see you again. Well, we just just want to talk about last night, right? I was just trying to protect you. By tying me to a bed? Threatening to cut me with a knife? Baby, Alistair made me do it. Right? He's trying to drive your old man crazy. He knew that threatening you would do the trick. Honey, I would never treat you that way and humiliate you in front of your family and friends like that. Alistair said that if I didn't do it, that he was going to have you killed. And I wasn't going to let that happen. Besides that, baby, he, he, he offered me a lot of cash, you know, to help rebuild my club and that we, that we could get our own place. I just told you I never want to see you again. Baby, hold on a second. You cannot bail on us now. Not now, baby, please. Just as soon as Alistair pays me the money, huh? you, you can stop working the streets. And you can go back to school. And we can get a house that you like. We'll buy it. Right? We can make it all nice and homey. The kind of place that we could, you know, like raise a family, baby. Our family together. You want to settle down with me? That's all that I ever wanted. That's why I'm doing all this. Look at me. It was for the money. For us, for our future together. Honey, I love you, please. Please say we can spend a life together, please. Sam, that I hired David to break up his marriage to Grace. He deserves to know the truth before he marries you. Okay, you're, you're not thinking clearly here. Actually, for the first time in a long time, I am. I'm thinking about my dad, okay, and the grief that he feels over losing my mom because I did not speak up and tell him the truth. He deserves to know the truth so he can try to get my mom back. What if Grace doesn't want to come back? Remember, she chose David. I had nothing to do with that. Oh, what happened is still your fault, and you know it. 
Just like you'd know if my dad found out what you did, he would hate you. Well, what about you? You think he's just gonna say, good job for finally telling the truth? No. Okay, I know he will be upset with me, but I don't care. At least you will know what a sneak you are in time to call off the wedding. All right, forget about me. Your evil would be stepmother. What about Fox? If you tell Sam, you're gonna lose Fox forever. Maybe not. Oh, please. Kay, what's done is done. If it helps you any, I have come to regret hiring David. I really had no idea your, your father loved your mother that much. But I can't change things. And if I tried, even more people would be hurt. So let's just leave well enough alone for both our sakes. IVK, is everything all right? Everything's fine. Good. I'm going to go look for your sister. We had another run in today with Spike. Uh, I'm coming with you. Hey, uh, what's going on? You seem a little upset. Yeah, well, I have done something really, really bad. What? I mean, what did you do? I don't know who did this to you. If only you'd come to, you could tell us. Grandfather? Oh, you're awake. I'm nothing. But you seen me the way you did? But baby, you offered to turn tricks to help pay for my club. It's your brother torch, remember? I know. But you twisted my arm, and then when I wanted to stop, you wouldn't let me. All right, you know what? If I pushed you too hard, I'm sorry. But I guess I was just so excited to get to the to get to the good part, you know? And I'd leave my new club and come home to you and our kids and Dog and cat and white picket fence. You're the whole nine yards, baby. I don't know why I should believe you. Because I love you. And because you love me. Please, baby, tell me that we can spend our life together. Please. Jessica! Baby. Baby. Baby, please look at me. Please, I need you, baby. Be with me. Jessica, where are you? Must have overheard father talking to this auto person about Beth and Marty. That's got to be who he's hiding. Would make sense. Tell me more about this place where father held you prisoner with Otto. I'm sorry, but as I told you last night in the attic, I don't know where I was except that I was high on a cliff overlooking a sea. It's the same place that your father took me the night that you thought you killed me. I was blindfolded. I was groggy, maybe drugged. I don't know. And when I finally came to, I was there, wherever there is. But I vowed not to let Alistair keep me prisoner again, so when I finally escaped, I accidentally fell off the cliff. And that's when Otto told Alistair you were dead? Mm-hmm. Only a, a, a boat picked you up. Yes, and I don't have any idea how long we sailed or where we sailed. I just know that after we docked that I somehow eventually ended up in Montana. But that's nowhere near a body of water. I know, and I have no memory of how I got there either. Wherever you were before that, maybe Otto is still there. If we find him, we can find Beth and Marty. We can bring your son back home to Harmony. Chris, do you promise? I'll do whatever it takes to bring your son back to you, Sheridan. Bad news. Alistair's awake. He is? Yes, Fancy was with him when he opened his eyes. We had better get to the living room right away, because if he's awake, he'll be able to name the person who tried to kill him. Yeah, among other things. I've done a terrible thing, Noah. Something unforgivable. 
so have I. Really? Yeah, I mean, pretty much everybody that's stuck here at the mansion has a secret that Alistair has threatened to expose. That's why someone tried to kill him last night. What if he recovers enough to say what I've done? I, I don't think you understand. Fox will hate me if he finds out. Okay, if it's really that bad, then... Well, then maybe you should come clean about it. You know, before Alistair has a chance to announce it. That way, Fox might be a little more understanding. No, I doubt it. If my secret comes out, I will lose him. <laughs> We're in the same boat. I can't tell Fancy my secret either. God, or I'll lose her. I mean, who are we kidding? You know, as soon as Alistair wakes up, our secrets are gonna come out. We're just postponing the inevitable. I know, I know, you're right. But what if he never wakes up? What? Alistair's awake. Yeah. Don't worry, Grandfather. You're going to be okay. Someone tried to kill you last night, but Dr. Russell saved your life. Tell us, Grandfather. Tell us who tried to kill you. What do you know that drove them to this? I have to do it. Do what? Tell Ethan the truth about what we did. Oh, oh no, Kate, you don't want to see this. It's the big secret Alistair has on you. Come on, Grampy. Who tried to kill you last night? Can you tell us? <sighs> You're at the goal.